When a missile is fired from an aircraft, there are three ways a missile can home in onto its target. NATO uses a specific set of codes called the FOX code to identify the type of missile that is fired. The radio call announcing the FOX code is to avoid friendly fire. FOX1 indicates the launch of a semi-active radar-guided missile. In this time, the aircraft makes a radar lock with the target and launches the missile. Here the radar source is the aircraft itself and the missile picks up the reflected rays to guide itself to its target. The problem with this method is that the firing aircraft needs to latch on to its target until the missile hits the target. If the radar lock is lost, the missile becomes useless. The target aircraft can also escape by releasing chaff which can deflect the radar beams and can confuse the missile. The NATO's AIM-7 Sparrow is an example of the FOX-1 type of missile and the Russian equivalent are R-23, R-33, R-27R, etc. The FOX-2 indicates the launch of a heat-seeking missile and as the name implies, the missile follows the heat signature of the aircraft. This is the most commonly used missile by aircrafts around the world. The target aircraft can release flares to divert the heat-seeking missiles. The NATO's AIM-9 Sidewinder is the most common example of the FOX-2 missile and the Russian equivalent is the K-13 which is an exact copy of the Sidewinder. FOX-3 indicates the launch of an active radar-guided missile. These missiles have their own radar emitter and receiver and are not dependent on the aircraft for guiding to its target. These missiles self-guide themselves to the target. These missiles are bigger and more powerful. The NATO's AIM-120 AMRAAM is an example of the FOX-3 launch and the Russian equivalent is the Vempel-NPO R-73 missile.